Hello YouTube family, Greg D here with TG and we are back for another DCUO video and today I'm going to make this video because I see this question a lot um, as of late with people asking me what is the strongest power, what is the best power, whatever you want to call it as far as playing now in DCUO as of the, well, sort of the end of 2019 here um, for episode 35. So now what I'm going to always say, as I always do, with anything, or I should say any video that I make like this, is take it with a grain of salt. This is what um, I've seen personally. This is what I've used personally. This is what I've also read um, in the forums. So um, by all means, you know, like take this with a grain of salt. Um, this is just basically my opinion, my own personal experience, and what I have seen. So... Um, with any of the roles, obviously you want to find um, something that you are comfortable with, something that works well for you. So um, to kind of coincide with what I just said, these are going to be the things that kind of coincide and work well for me. So uh, let's start off first with DPSing. Now, as most of you know, if you've been following me for a while, I'm kind of pet power biased. So um, with that being said, I do enjoy Earth. I do enjoy Sorcery. Um, as far as DPSing is concerned, Earth has been one of the top ones for quite some time. Rage has been um, up there as well, quite consistently, quite frequently. As far as tanking is concerned, if I had to pick a tank power that worked um, fairly, fairly well, I would probably either go Rage or Fire um, in my own personal experience here. Um, if I had to pick a, let's see, sorry. If I had to pick a healer power as of the current moment, I probably would pick water or electric, to be honest. If I had to pick a controller power, I would probably pick gadgets or quantum. And what's the, what am I missing here? Am I missing something here? So, God, I just, I'm just having a brain fart. I'm trying to concentrate here on, on this and do this. So, um, to kind of re... Oh, controller. So, I, that's the one I forgot. So, uh, if I was going to pick a controller power, I would probably pick Gadgets or Quantum. Those are, seem to be ones that have always worked well. Gadgets is always a decent one for DPSing as well. So, like I said, this is just kind of like take it with a grain of salt. What works for me may not necessarily work well for you, and everyone's got an opinion on the matter. Um, so yeah, so let's recap here. So if I had to pick DPSing, one that's going to be you know somewhat simple, somewhat you know keep you towards the top of the spectrum, especially if you're someone who looks just solely for numbers. Earth is going to be a good one. Sorcery is going to be a good one. Gadgets is always a decent DPS. Rage is always top DPS a lot of times. So um, there you have that. Tank, once again, for my own personal for my own personal experience, Rage is going to be a great tank. Earth is a decent tank. But if I had to pick one, like I said, I would either pick Rage or Fire for that matter. Um, and then for healer, I would probably pick water or electric once again, ever since water has come out, water has definitely been, um, in my mind, one of the most consistent healer powers and electric has kind of seen its ups and downs over the, you know, few years. Um, of DCUO, sometimes electric has been super OP, and then other times it has been like bottom of the barrel as far as DPSing or um, healing for that matter. But um, I would say that as far as healing goes, electric's been always kind of like a consistent one. So um, I would honestly say water or electric. And then once again, as far as your quantum go or your controller goes, Gadgets or Quantum always seem to be very, very consistent. Mental is probably up there as well, but Gadgets or Quantum are probably your top two. 
Um, the reason why I say, I, well, I guess I should say the reason why I give you some options is because I know not everybody particularly enjoys playing with Atomic or playing with Earth or playing with um, Sorcery or playing with Rage. I mean, it, like I said, part of it is finding what works well for you and kind of getting yourself in there. Um, also, if you do like um, pet powers, like I said, Earth is a great tank or DPS power. Earth has been, as of late, a top DPS power. Um, decent uh, tank power, I would say. Uh, sorcery is always a decent, consistent healer power and DPS power just because it has that great supercharge of Grand Summoning, which is my favorite supercharge within the game of DCUO. Um, and then Nature. Nature is also another kind of pet power that um, doesn't get a lot of attention um, just because it's kind of like Electric has been um, at points very, very OP and then at other points not so hot. But um, Nature is always kind of a consistent healer power as well. So um, let's just put it you know, that way. So to kind of sum everything up finally here, if I personally was going to pick one power that I could play for the rest of the time that I was playing DCUO and that was it, I would honestly pick, I would pick Sorcery as a healer, I would pick Earth as DPS, I would pick Quantum as a controller, and I would probably pick Fire as a tank. But that's just me, that's what works well for me. So, um, you know, the main thing here is to try them all out, see what you like, see what you don't like, find what works best for you. Like I've said, I know I say that all the time, but, you know, part of it is, you know, certain powers will always be um, buffed or nerfed depending on how the devs feel that particular day. But, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, what happens is you got to find what works well for you. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Like I said, the biggest thing is to try them out for yourselves. See what works well for you. See if you can come out with a loadout that is simple, that is fun, that helps you perform well in, especially like alerts and raids and things of that nature. So um, that's all I got for you guys today. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, we'll see you soon.